Stefan Küng, what a race. Third time you win a stage here in Switzerland. A wonderful feel here to the Swiss. Wonderful feeling. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I've uh, just this morning a friend of mine said, yeah, how, for how long have you already been in top five all the time? To go two years back to find one where I wasn't in the top five. But last time I was always missing out. It's really close, so it feels such a big relief to win here in front of uh, the home crowd, in front of my, my, my family is here, my wife, my son. It's just amazing. But yesterday you told that you're not in the very best shape. How was it still possible to win? Yeah, because I was uh, from the Giro to the Tour of Switzerland was quite a short time. I did some altitude training and I was working really, really hard. And then uh, I just felt really tired Wednesday. And since then I was just focusing on recovery. And so I was not 100% self-confident. But uh, yeah, I, I saw all my friends and family here. And that this for sure gave me some extra motivation. And then I... I knew I could do well, but I also like you know didn't also want to put the expectations too high. Uh, but I always go full gas, and uh, today it worked out once again. So like this, maybe we can also see a strong Stefan Küng in the mountains, like last year. Uh, for sure, I will uh, uh, honor the jersey and uh, go as uh, as hard as I can. Uh, tomorrow, I think for sure I can defend it, and then we will we'll, we'll see pretty soon with the first mountain stage. Honestly, I cannot uh, promise anything, but for sure I will, I will fight for it. I ask on Swiss fantastic day. We can see the feeling in years, or when we analyze it, it's a better feeling. Yeah, it's grandiose. It's really a massive step, one that falls, a massive load. Yeah, I've been so, so near the axis, I've been so much normal. And here, from my family, friends, my wife, my son, and yeah, just... Einfach... Dass es endlich wieder mal funktioniert hat. Ich meine, ich äh, arbeite äh, brutal hart, ich gebe immer alles und äh, ja, darum äh, fühlt sich einfach super an. Etapa de 12.7 kilómetros. Stefan Kuhn es el ganador de esta contrarreloj individual de esta primera etapa del Tour de Suiza 2023. Ahí está en sus pantallas. Número uno, Stefan Kuhn, ganador de la etapa. 13 minutos 31 segundos. En la segunda casilla entró Renko Ebenepol a 6 segunditos nada más del ganador. Tercero para Wout Van Aer a 10 segundos. Cuarto lugar para Magnus Sheffield de Líneas Grenadieres a 11 segundos. Quinto para Johan Price Patterson a 17 segundos. Sexto para Matías Esquelmols a 19 segundos. Séptimo para Stefan Biseyer. A 20 segundos. Ahí está en la casilla octava. Mateo Sobrero. A 20 segundos. En la casilla número 9. Casper Asgren. A 23 segundos. Y cerrando con el. Acabemos. Cerrando en el top 10. Está ubicado el corredor. Aquí lo tenemos. Juan Ayuso a 25 segundos. Así es, entonces esta es la clasificación general de la etapa número uno de este Tour de Suiza. La contrarreloj individual de 12.7 kilómetros de recorrido.